Okay, so, assalamu alaikum. Uh, so today I want to give you uh, a really a real explanation to why Muslims don't eat pork uh, in particular. Most people think it's like a taboo or uh, because of lack of education or uh, superstition, but that's not true. So I want to give you uh, an example of one of the prophets of Islam, uh, whose name is Jesus Christ, uh, who uh, gives us the uh, a reasoning uh, through through the revelation of why we don't eat uh, pork. So in First Corinthians ten twenty, uh, it says, "No, but the sacrifices of pagans are offered to demons." not to God, and I do not want you to be participants with demons. So in that uh, book, it, it, it talks about uh, what uh, pagan sacrifices are. Uh, so in Islam, we cannot eat uh, meat that has been sacrificed uh, to pagan uh, idols, and the pagan idols are uh, demonic. Uh, so like uh every uh pagan sacrifice uh is being made uh to serve demons uh so with that being said uh I'll, I'll give you continue uh which is uh 1 Corinthians uh 10:21 uh which is you cannot drink the cup of the lord and the cup of demons too you cannot have a part in both the lord's table and the table of demons uh so like you can't eat halal food and then turn around and eat uh, demonic food. Uh, so, you know, at this point, people are wondering, you know, how well, how uh, is it that pigs are uh, demonic food? So then you go to the book of Luke at 832, and it says, A large herd of pigs was feeding there on the hillside. The demons begged Jesus to let them go into the pigs, and he gave them permission. So the demons asked Jesus, to go into the pigs. Uh, Jesus Christ is one of the uh, prophets and messengers of Islam. Uh, and as a result, Jesus Christ said, uh, you can go into the pigs. So so with that being said, uh, when you put a pig on your table uh, to eat, uh, you're actually eating uh, demonic or like meat that is possessed uh, by demons. And this is the reality uh, that Jesus uh, created uh, with the rest of the world. So uh, then I want to go to uh, Mark 3.22 uh, because this was, you know, this caused a great uh, stir, a great debate, and people wanted to know uh, how he could do this. Uh, so they said, but the teachers of religious law who had arrived from Jerusalem said, he's possessed by Satan, the prince of demons, that's where he gets the power to cast out demons. Uh, so, so with that being said, they had to understand uh, where uh, Jesus uh, was getting his uh, his so-called his power from. Uh, you know how they how they could understand it. Uh, so, with that being said, uh, in Mark uh, one thirty four. And Jesus healed many who had various diseases. He also drove out many demons, but he would not let the demons speak because they knew who he was. So I just wanted to share uh, where uh, Muslims get the uh, idea of not eating pork from and why it is uh, haram. Uh, and that is because uh, one of the prophets and messengers uh, put the demons in the meat. And that is the reality uh, that he uh, created uh, for the world. So if you don't know like uh, what reality is as far as from the perspective of uh, the prophets and messengers, uh, I can give you uh, some reference points uh, where you can look at. So what we'll do is we'll go to Colossians uh, 2.17 and it says, these are, these are the shadow of things that were to come the reality however is found in christ uh so with that being said uh i just want to give you a, a clear understanding that christ is one of the prophets and messengers of allah and that uh 
the reality, like what we perceive to be true, is uh, found in him. And all Muslims are supposed to believe in Christ. And therefore, uh, if Christ, Jesus Christ said he cast the demons into the pigs uh, and the Lord, and we cannot have uh, the food from the Lord and the food that was uh, dedicated uh, to the, the pagan demons on the same table or eat from both plates, uh, then obviously uh, pig meat is uh, haram. Uh, it, is, it is not halal. And Muslims uh, do not eat this meat, not because of taboo, not because of lack of education, but because this is the reality that one of the messengers of Allah uh, created uh, for the entire ummah, uh, regardless of uh, where you may find yourself in it. Uh, so with that being said, sometimes you come into situations where, you know, a Muslim is living in a country that is predominantly non-Muslim and uh, they go to get something to eat and then uh, they get something in their food and they notice that it's a funny taste in their food or something. And because Muslims don't eat pork, uh, nine times out of ten, a Muslim won't even know uh, if it's uh, pork or not. Uh, so I just want to say that it's not actually cool to mix, like if you know somebody's a Muslim, to like taint their food with pork because what you are doing is you are acting like a Dajjal or an Antichrist and denying uh, the message of one of the uh, prophets of Christ, which kind of makes you uh, uh, like a Dajjal or Antichrist, you know, all that denying the Father and the Son type thing. So with that being said, you know, it's not cool. It's not because Muslims are ignorant. It's not because Muslims don't have a, a clear concise idea of what they're doing it's just that because one of the prophets and messengers of allah said that uh demons are in the pork uh this is why muslims do not eat uh pork meat swine or however you want to say it uh with that being said assalamu alaikum